Obviously, our primary layer of protection was our power supply. Uh, when the storm hit, we lost our primary power. Uh, we brought in emergency generators to provide backup power, to provide refrigeration to those products. As the floodwaters rose, those generators were compromised, and we lost the use of those generators because of the floodwaters. We actually had a third system in place, which was liquid nitrogen. We have a liquid nitrogen system on site um, to provide refrigeration to, uh, to, this, to these storage containers. Because of the uh, flooding, flood waters, some of the equipment necessary to operate that liquid nitrogen system was also compromised. And then our fourth layer of protection was these refrigerated storage containers. So we brought these refrigerated storage containers, moved all of the product into these, into these uh, containers. Um, which is where they are now. Richard, what about we're anticipating all of that take? more explosions or popping or whatever you want to call it? Yes, we're anticipating that the remaining eight containers that have not yet um, started to have product degrade in them, for that to start to happen. How long are the consequences for the I'm sorry? At least three are not cooling of the eight, is that accurate? No, my understanding, uh, gentlemen, is we have that we've lost refrigeration capability in eight of the nine. Eight of the nine. Yes. What's How long are the tanks of isobutylene and sulfur dioxide from where the organic peroxide you're worried about? Um, I'm not sure about the exact distance, but the containers themselves are in a remote area of the plant, so we don't anticipate any other uh, buildings or equipment on the site to be can affected. Can we get a layout of the plant from our chemist so we can have an idea of how far away it is as you know the public so they can know that? Yeah, I think or that... we're relying entirely on you just saying that it's far away? No, I think that's something that we can... What are the do. potential health oh, impacts? Mr. Bernard, oh, hold on. Excuse me. One... Please. Sorry, just a quick question. Uh, two, two questions, if I may. Um, was there not enough time for you to get these trucks out of the way? No. We felt that the best place to keep this material based on the nature of the product was in the plant. We have experts and people that know this chemistry, um, know how to handle the products. We had the equipment there that we felt like, based on um, uh, what we would have anticipated happening on this, in the storm. We certainly didn't want to bring these containers out onto the roads with hundreds or thousands of people being evacuated and having a trailer stuck on a highway somewhere with uh, uh, numerous people around. So we felt like the safest place to keep the containers and to protect the citizens in the area was to keep the product on our site. Did the what? site you that? No. Let no. me ask you this. Are you willing to release a list of all the chemicals at that plant? Yes, we can share the information about what other chemicals we have on the, on the site. Can you talk about the potential health impacts? What are the consequences for the health risks? What are the health risks? So, so what we have is a fire. Talk to the microphones. Thank okay. you. Trying to speak speak to the well, individual that's asking the question. Sorry. Nobody can hear you. Don't. Sorry. Um, um, so the question was, what is the health health risk? What we have going on, it's not a chemical release that's that's happening. Um, and I want to be clear about that. This isn't a chemical release. What we have is a fire. And when you have a fire that where hydrocarbons, these chemicals are burning, uh, sometimes you have incomplete combustion, and you have smoke. And any smoke is going to be um, um, an irritant to your eyes or your lungs or potentially your skin. So if you're exposed to that, we certainly are encouraging anyone that, that may be exposed to, to the smoke coming from this fire to call their doctor or to seek medical, uh, medical advice. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.